Hey, how's it going, Biz in the Hood? It's Eric Moody. As you can see, oh, yeah. second annual Night at the Fights, Leo Corps Center in Philadelphia. We're ringside. We're checking out the action. It's a good one. I'm here with Quincy Harris down at the second annual Night at the Fights at the Leah Corps Center in Philadelphia. How's it going today? Oh, man, I'm doing good, E, man. This is a, a good event. I, I fought last year, and I, I, I retired 1-0 undefeated, and I'm not fighting again. I, I haven't had uh, boxing gloves on since uh, the last fight, but it's always good to come back and support a good cause. Now, one of the things that I want to do this evening with our uh, 100th anniversary is that we're honoring some legends this evening. We're honoring some legends, the boxing legends of Philadelphia. Bernanke! And Gilly, how are you enjoying yourself? I'm good, man. I can't complain. Down here enjoying the fights, that's all. And what brings you out tonight? Tevin Farmer, Brandon, uh, Christian Cargo. You know, I support Philadelphia fighters, so that's what brought me out. And can we expect to see you in the ring anytime soon? Yep. And who would you like to be your opponent? Floyd Mayweather. So you calling out on Biz in the Hood, Floyd Mayweather, right here. Yeah. So what would you like to say to Floyd Mayweather? So when he turn on Biz in the Hood media and he see you exactly, call him out. This is your promo, your chance. I think I'm a worthy opponent, Floyd. Give me a shot. Well, you heard it here exclusively and first. Floyd Mayweather, Gilly is coming for you. And we wait in Philly, fight, fight night. What's up? <laughs> Go get him, B! Go get him, B! Hey everyone, I'm here with Brandon Pizarro. Congratulations on your match. How, how does it feel to win? Thank you, thank you. Um, it's amazing. First and foremost, I gotta thank God, but 
just just the atmosphere of winning is it, it's an amazing feeling. How did you prepare for it? Uh, pre preparation for this fight was was crazy. I put my body through hell for six weeks, and uh, I'm ready to fight again tonight. All right, thank you so much for your time, and congratulations, you did an amazing job. Thank you, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Hey, it's Sarah Melita, and I'm here with Neef Buck. How are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm great, man. I came out to check out. Uh, Mr. Foster, you know what I'm saying? He ready to do it big tonight. Hopefully, he get a knockout. So I think he tore like something in his uh, in his arm or whatever, but he's still fighting. So you know, I'm just coming out to support and show love to one of my Philly natives. So being a Philly native, how does it feel to come out and show love to your city and still put your city on the map and do promo and just be an influence? Yeah, I love it. It's a blessing to be in this industry, you know, this music industry for like over 15 years and still going and still being relevant and putting out quality good projects and the people is um you know supporting it and um you know they loving it man it's just real recognized real man i, I appreciate it like that you said that real does recognize real you got anything real any hard hitting tracks coming out for uh, us yeah i'm working on forever do me nine right now but you can go get forever do me five six seven and eight on any platform that sells music itunes google play Amazon, title, all that stuff. So just search Neef Buck in the, in, the, in, the, you know, in the search box, and it's going to pop up. So what's your favorite track off the album? Uh, Forever Do Me 8, um, my favorite track. I, I, I don't know. Every every track got a different meaning. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's just like putting together a body of work, quality of body of work. A lot of people just put out singles nowadays and you know let it do what it do. But I just want to put a, like a, a nice piece of body you know, all together in this one piece and just put it out and let the people just pick the ones they like but you know uh, every part of it is a, is a, is a, is a, um, a piece of my life or, or what I'm talking about and hopefully people can relate to it and stuff like that but I love the whole project I really don't have like one pick it's like different different moves you know what I'm saying how I feel how, different moves that you know that I feel so but it's a, it's, a, it's a solid project you know what I'm saying I got Jada Kiss on there Trade the Truth uh, Davies uh, my guy Dirty 1000 from um, from Florida um, got a couple people on there, a lot of uh, uh, up and coming producers. Um, of course, my partner, Young Chris, on there. I got the whole state property on there. Never been a song with the whole state property on there in in history. You know what I'm saying? So it's called Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? So just work. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for still making quality music, yeah. making it as an art form instead of just putting something we can just bump to, yeah. putting something out that actually means something yeah, and right, still right. showing us real artists still do music, right. still running Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> don't get it twisted. The hood, the <laughs> don't get it twisted. The hood, we know business. So congratulations on your continued success. What brings you out here tonight? Well, the Urban League Award is just very, very um, uplifting and also positive. And that what brought me out. Matter of fact, it brought me from the West Coast to the East Coast to go ahead and not only pay respects, but also be a part of it. Because even though I received the award and did my introduction, to understand that, you know, the queen of this, behind the scenes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, when it's no event, and she does every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, focus on building um, the Urban League brand as a help uh, organization. And to be a part of it and to be here is just paying homage and also doing what I can do outside of this event. Um, it's, it's really, it's cool. It's cool. Hey, it's Sarah Melita, and I am back with celebrity boxer Shrumpert Caldwell. Shrumpert Caldwell. Shrumpert. <laughs> like a mind Shrumpert, but Shrumpert Caldwell is my first name. You did amazing in there. You just hit him with that Mayweather jab. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought, you know, Bobby's a real good guy. I met him a few times. I thought he was going to better take a little more than that. I don't think I really hit him that hard. But I guess it was a punch you didn't see that you know, I landed, and it was like, wow, he's out. And I'm, I, you know. I don't know. It was, it, was, it was for a good cause, and, you know, we came out here and put on a good show. Is this your first match? No. Actually, I'm an amateur boxer. I was an amateur boxer. I haven't had a fight in, like, six years. So um, when, my, when my trainer called me, I've been asking me to do this thing. I started training real hard for it. Like, I thought it was going to be a competitive fight. They, you know, they said they, I was going to fight this guy, Bobby Keys. And I'm like, oh, my God. They say he's going to be 20 pounds bigger than you. So I'm thinking, all right, well, let me train really hard because I know that's going to be a lot to do, so 
it is what it is. But I punched my hand. I got hands of stone, so you know I proved it tonight. I guess I, you know I, I don't know. So this is your first time being in the ring in six years. Six years, yeah. Like I have a little daughter, Layla. She has the the hair her hair is cut right now. She was one of the ring card kids tonight. She's six years old. She never seen me fight. So this is her first time seeing me fight, and you know I thought she was going to see more, but you know unfortunately it ended early. You were very impressive, so I know she is very, very proud. And I got one more question for you. So, I've never boxed in my lifetime, so can you help me with that, with that Mayweather jab, so I, so I can get that, that two-point punch? Well, I have a trainer named George Hansen in, in South Philly, 17 official of the Mary Andersons. Come down there and see us. And like, I'd like to say one more thing. I'm representing all the returning citizens. That's why I did this tonight. I'm an ex-offender to myself. Mary Kenny gave me a chance to, in 2007 to make, a, to make a change in my life, and I did. And that's why I came out with, with all the ex-offenders. The guy who made my outfit is the ex-offender, learn how to sew. Um, I had the song from a guy named OG Law, ex-offender, came out with the orange jumpsuit. And I'm just saying that, you know, guys like us need opportunities and chances to do things in the community, to be fathers, husbands, and everything else. So just keep that up. Keep that in mind. Give us the chance to prove ourselves worthy, and y'all see me again eventually. I'd like to thank you for coming out, supporting, doing this for charity. And it was a very powerful message telling all the ex-offenders out there, you can move past it and you can be somebody and you can do good and give back to your community. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. The hood, right. we know business. Exactly. Thank you very much. Have a good one, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Pat Coulter. She is the president of Urban League of Philadelphia. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Absolutely great. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about Night at the Fights. Night at the Fights is in its second year. It was conceived last year by my uh, Urban League board chair, Bobby Keys, who is fighting tonight as one of the celebrity fighters. Last year it was attached to the Golden Gloves while they were uh, here in the city. This year we wanted to take it up a little notch. Okay. So we were able to partner with um, hard-hitting promotions, mm -hmm. and Manny uh, Rivera and his team, and they're bringing us these fabulous young fighters and these young men who I've just just been so impressed with. It's, it's an amazing opportunity for us to learn about the sport of boxing mm -hmm. and to also understand what these young people are doing for themselves and for their families. So the Urban League, the purpose of this uh, night at the fights is to sort of emphasize that the Urban League for 100 years has been fighting for Philly's kids and families and we will continue to fight for Philly's kids and families. Oh, that's amazing. Where can everyone follow Urban League of Philadelphia on social media? Urban League of Philadelphia on Facebook, okay. UL Philly on Twitter. All right. Thank you so much for putting Thank on this amazing you. event. Thank you for being here. Thank no problem. You help keep the excitement going in our community. Get involved, get involved. We're living in a really trying time right now, especially for us as African Americans. And I think if we don't come together and fight, we're gonna be making some steps backwards. So we gotta come together. Thank you for doing this and so, for talking to me, okay? No problem, it's nice to meet you. Too, so. oh, yep. All right, there you have it. It was a great turnout. We about to close the show with the host, Quincy Harris, any last words? Hey, it was great, it was amazing, it was fun. Uh, we had a knock. We had a couple knockouts. Wow! But it was all for a good cause. So really appreciated that. All right. Thank you. Hey. Did your thing, hosting. I'm gone. Don't get holler. Don't get it twisted. The hood knows business. Boom. <laughs>